Welcome to the newest HeyCast, and this time I am joined by Jamie Lewis. Now, a little change of plans. Uh, we did not go over the incel epidemic that has been sweeping the nation. Uh, mainly because we didn't have the third person that was going to join us join us, so we just did a little bit of, of a Q&A uh, for you guys. Uh, which, by the way, I am unsure if people are going to like this particular episode, so if you have any comments, uh, anything you'd like us to discuss or not discuss, I know politics is uh, discussed in here. Now, this is not going to be a normal occurrence, I just thought, you know, why not today? Um, but anyway, so we got some fitness related questions in there as well. And, uh, Jamie, as always, complains about the questions that he thinks is stupid. So, uh, I'm not going to spoil it too much. It is a very ranty episode. Uh, more of the same Jamie Lewis that you guys know and love. Uh, as well as my opinions, which you can take with a grain of salt because uh, they don't matter. But, with that being said, you know what does matter? Having great sleep. Uh, one of the things that has personally helped me, someone who's clinically diagnosed with insomnia, is our sleep product, Hypnos. Now, if you've tried Hypnos, you already know the wonder, the magic, the prosperous gold that is Hypnos. <sighs> but for those who don't, now's your chance to try it. So, this week, we have Hypnos on BOGO. So, we have buy one Hypnos, get the other one absolutely freaking free. And if that wasn't enough, we also have a 30% off code that, by the way, will work this time. I know we fucked that up uh, last week, but everything should be good to go this time. Uh, we're still catching up on work, uh, still banging the chaos and pain drum, and uh, we appreciate you guys continuing to watch. Anyway, without further ado, uh, because I am long-winded, reasons, and yes, I'm messy, and yes, you, you should subscribe. Enjoy the show. Welcome to the newest Hey Cast. Uh, this is your host, Bryce Allen, and I am joined by Jamie Lewis. Hey, Again. hey. So, Again. First and foremost, what is your obsession with Gonzo? Uh, Gonzo is the coolest of all the Muppets. And I know that that's not popular to say because Animal is generally the one everybody claims is the coolest. But uh, Gonzo's the shit. He uh, He's weird as hell. He celebrates the fact he's weird. He loves fucking chickens. Uh, I don't know what there is to not love about him. Interesting. <laughs> I've never had hey, sex with a chicken, he, but I would not have sex with a chicken. I mean, it's just a, it's a, it's a matter of consent. And how does a chicken consent? Um, carefully. Uh, yes. I don't know. I, how would it? How would it even fit? Anyway, um... Well, according to Devil's Rejects, you cut the head off a chicken, and then you fuck its severed neck. That makes sense. We look forward to your letters, Peter. Yeah. So... <sighs> I'm not white trash, so, uh, again, I've never fucked a chicken, but, uh... Well, I live in the South, so I have to do research. Um... I, I don't think you, you have to do much research. You can just go to your local Walmart and ask a question. And just go outside. Hey, how do you fuck a yeah. chicken? Let me show you, boy. Um... I imagine the first step would be crystal meth. Crystal, okay. What about sh uh, booger sugar? I don't. No. I, I I feel like cocaine's a little outside the price range of the uh, of the South. Well, by now, guys, I know you have questions, so we might as <laughs> well I've, give you answers. I've offended half of our listenership. <laughs> they're 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 polishing their guns and. Uh, yeah, well, as they listen to this, and now they're now they're loading their guns. Well, if you hadn't a guessed already by reading the title, guys, this is going to be another Q and A. Now, the incel talk, I did want to delay a little bit because we're supposed to have a third person, and I'm going to see if next week will work for him. Uh, so 
this 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 one won't be the incel the next one won't be but i think the one after that will be the incel revisit so stay tuned for that but in the meantime we have a q a so on on the uh on the Just topic to of offending that, people, I, I found out that there are gay incels which Let's all just drink that in for a second. Let's just stop in our tracks. I'll one-up you. Okay. There's a very large portion, a significantly large, to me anyway, portion of incelibate women. Did you, were you aware of this? You, sir, have just melted my mind. That, what? That's a thing. Listen, there's a story that I will tell. I have to get all my facts right, but there's a story that I will tell on the Incel Revisit where this girl literally had her girlfriend. She's a lesbian, of course, as, as things would go. Um, she, she had her girlfriend spend about 50 Gs on her pussy only to become incelibate and leave her. How, wait, how do you spend $50,000 <laughs> on, on a vagina? What? Well, apparently she had a couple bat botched uh, surgeries, and there ended up being some nerve damage, so she's in celibate due to the fact that she can't have an orgasm. Now that doesn't make you in celibate. That just listen, that, listen. That means you, you had needless you, surgery on your junk. Well, yeah, but you have to jump through certain mental gymnastics hoops in order to get to the in celibate thing to begin with. That's so, true. Let's let's save that for another podcast. Okay, wow. so my first, mind is just blown. Fifty it's grand. Blown. That's that's a down payment on a fucking house. Fifty grand on your vagina? Like what could possibly have? Like did somebody throw a grenade into it? <laughs> um, I'll 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 tell that story when the incel thing comes around. But all um, right, I'm not a fan of tidy pussies to begin with. Like I don't want them to look like. A baby vagina? That that whole thing is weird to me. So I don't. I, the whole thing is, I I don't. Well, I'm let's get in. Into, let's get into that, man. Are you a beef curtain guy, or are you a nice? I am. I am. I'm very much a beef curtain guy. I I just I, I want it. You know, does anybody want to play baseball with a brand new glove? No, and I I don't want to either. <laughs> oh man, um. At the risk of offending more people, I was asked this. Now, I have to preface this by saying the following questions and answers does not represent the viewpoints of Chaos and Pain, LLC. This is how dangerous this question is. Okay. Wow. All right. Jamie's thoughts on government shutdown. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know... I'm a registered libertarian. I, I just re-registered to vote. I, I haven't, I haven't voted since 1996. Uh, I, at which point I voted for the Natural Law Party. Uh, I voted for John Hagelin, who was, uh, he was a guy who was a, I think he was an astrophysicist. He had some really great ideas. Then I came to find out he was in that cult that uh, started transcendental meditation, and they owned like half a French Guiana, and they're all psychopaths. Uh, but that's the last person I voted for. Uh, quite frankly, if, if I could fight Donald Trump, I would, uh, just because he's a bitch. And I'm, I hate Trump fans with every fiber of my being. Uh, in the last week, I've gotten two bans from alt-writers. Uh, I apparently bullied a Nazi. I didn't even know that was possible. I bullied a Nazi. Uh, who has since banned me, and then he's sent his his little, like, bitch-made incel lackeys from Operation Bitch Fist to come and, uh, like, harass me online. Except Operation all, Bitch Fist. That's, that's what I like to call them now, Operation okay. Bitch Fist. Okay. Uh, if you've seen Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back, you know what I'm talking about. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, some dude named Cockknocker just punched me in the junk. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they're they're just pussies. Uh, like the alt right, and really anybody who wears a MAGA hat is a is a fucking bitch. Uh, like uh, I will happily give my address out if you guys want to fight me, because none of you can fucking fight. And you'll bring your gun, and you probably can't shoot that right. So 
Uh, just a bunch of bitches. Uh, the government shutdown, it's nothing but pussies. And I don't even like the left either, this Octavia Broad who thinks that she's like some kind of fucking gangbanger in Congress. I, 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 I can't be bothered with it. The whole thing's fucking retarded. I, I, like, I'd fight everybody in the government if I had the opportunity. Could I run the government any better than they can? Probably not. I, the whole thing's a fucking pointless mess. Uh... We're just, we're literally playing the fiddle as the uh, ship goes down, I think. So, um, but I think it's fucked up that they're forcing people to work and they're not paying them. That's, that's, that's just wrong. I mean, I've worked for free for 10 years and uh, I, I probably ought to figure out a way to make some money out of this, but I, uh, I've yet to do so, but that's on me. That's not, it's not, somebody's forcing me to do this. So, um... Yeah, I think that's really the shittiest part about it is forcing people to work for no pay. Yeah. They're basically making slaves out of the government, or out of well, government employees. What do you think about the, um, you know, this is an interesting topic because not many people know exactly what all happens when a government shutdown happens, right? They think, okay. oh, the government shut down, uh, nobody's answering phones, and then that's it, right? So... Um, it's a little bit more serious than that. I mean, you have work that gets behind that sometimes, by the way, never gets gotten to, you know, um, when it comes to the pencil pushing side of things, you also have like, uh, those of you who have ordered from chaos and pain have noticed that sometimes your tracking is a little bit off and that's because while the postal service is working hard and they, you know, are doing, um, you know, God's work for us, you know, as I, I do my little <laughs> crucifix, crucifix here because they deliver packages out to you guys and you guys get your hands on the most badass supplements in the world. Um, you know, their website does seem to be a bit affected by the shutdown, literally when it comes to tracking, right? So, like, I'm, really? guessing, I'm guessing their website in particular, right, USPS.com, because we use the United States Postal Service, they are affected due to the fact that maybe their uh, website is ran by a government contract. Like, that would make sense to me. Like, the, the work for the actual upkeep and the maintenance of the site is actually offloaded to a government contractor, right? Which, if the government shut down, that gets, you know, pushed to the wayside. Other little things like... I think like, it's kind of fun that the people at the top still get paid, though. You know? It's just the people... It's kind of... The people who advocate for the government, like, or they advocate for, like, uh, well, what they think they're advocating for low taxes and shit like that, even though Dwight Eisenhower was a Republican, uh, had a higher tax rate on the rich, they advocate for low taxes for the rich, which doesn't make any sense. But they're the same people who are defending the government shutdown over this fucking wall that we don't need, uh, that is to solve a problem that only existed after... They started screaming about the wall. These migrant caravans didn't happen before they started yelling about a wall, which, why nobody's talking about that is a mystery I will never solve. But, uh, so, waiting for this wall and, like, low taxes for the rich, that somehow they don't seem to understand the rich people in the government are still getting paid. You think Donald Trump's mixed, missed a fucking paycheck? You think any of these Congress people have missed a paycheck? No. They're still getting paid. It's just the little people that are getting shit on. It's people advocating against their own personal interest, which makes no sense at all. Well, I uh, I can't comment much on this just due to the fact that uh, I'm 28, so I am still like a baby. Um, I, I, that doesn't mean you don't have an opinion. You can go ahead and chime in. I mean, do you think that the rich should pay less than 70% in taxes? I, I don't know a reason why... A person who makes over $10 million needs... I mean, they're not spending the money. They put it in the bank and invest it. And then it doesn't go back in the economy. If you give that money to people who actually spend money, the economy grows. It's not, it's not rocket surgery. This isn't difficult to understand. People who don't have money spend money. People who have money don't spend money. So if you give the money to the people who don't have it, they will spend it. It's very simple. They buy things. I, I am a centrist. I am, I am in the middle on basically everything just because uh, that is my cop-out answer. So. Oh, God. 
You might be the most... Like, is beige your favorite color? Uh, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. And I, You're I, like, have... I own every color of Dockers there are. Absolutely, man. And, it, you know, yeah. It'll be fine. Like, if I could pa- paint my whole house beige, it'd be fine. If I could just if call myself... Your... If I could just... What is uh, a house page? Paint. Pay your paint. house paint. Paint my house beige. Wow. All right. Yeah. But, um, yeah, like, that's that's way above my pay grade. Um, plus, I'm just, I'm just not... Uh, it's not to say that I'm... Fuck it, I'll say it. I'm just not political. I, I don't really keep up with things like I should. I don't really... <laughs> Um, do all that stuff just because I got I got you know other things going on. I just don't. I honestly, nah, you're like that lady attention. on the View who thinks that the Earth is flat because uh, and doesn't think people have been to the moon because she has children. <laughs> what? That was her excuse. She was like, "I think the Earth is flat, and I don't think we've ever been to the moon because I don't have time to research those things because I have okay, children. okay, I can I take a hard stance on that. that. I can take a hard stance on that." The Earth is not flat. Calm your ass down. I can take a hard stance oh, on that. You're certain Jesus of that. Jesus Christ. Yes. Yes, is I am Earth certain of that. 10,000 years old. Can you agree to that? Yes, I can agree to that definitely. Right. Might be 10,001. But uh, you know what? Maybe maybe that's stretching it, man. I don't know. Uh, by the way, if you have anything that you believe, go ahead and comment in the comment section below because I'm sure you will. This oh, stuff absolutely. always gets people yeah, post heated. pictures of you and your MAGA hat. Uh, also, um... Shining your gun. Yeah, and Why again... Why do people shine guns, anyways? Eh, I don't own one, so do I don't know. Do they polish them? I, I, they're busy with that. You know, it's been on my docket to actually have the experience of firing one for once in my life, just to earn the experience. But I just, I don't own one, I just... It's not I, I do enjoy. I, I do it. enjoy shooting guns. It is a good time. Yeah, like, and that's the thing that most people don't understand is like, for me and my purposes, it would be literally a firecracker, and I love firecrackers. I lo- I fucking love fireworks. You know, uh, I you see, am I, basically a big I, kid. So, I have a good analogy here uh, that I don't have a problem with guns, uh, like or owning guns or anything like that. But right. for me, it's exactly like. I feel like you ha- you date a chick who has like sexy feet, like she just has hot feet. Like, right. yeah, sure, you'll suck on her toes, like uh, you know, it, it's very erotic. It's a good time. But then you got the people who like can't come unless they're looking at a chick's feet. <laughs> you know, right. that's that's gun nuts to me. Like, there's they take something cool and then fuck it all up by making it this weird fetishized thing and they start screeching out about a second amendment they don't understand and by the way that that amendment is just in place because we didn't have an army at the time there was no standing army in the united states so we needed a militia and for all these fucking nuts also i mean while i'm going on tangents they're pissing off the right uh like all these people who are screeching about the second amendment and they need their fucking guns to protect themselves against they're the same ones who are whining about how we need this fucking wall so they want a totalitarian government that has walled us into a country that apparently we can't escape now. Uh, at the same time, they think that, like, oh, well, the blood of liberty or the, the, the tree of liberty needs to be refreshed with blood and all that shit. Like, all of the founding fathers would be in Gitmo right now. Like, that shit doesn't fly. So you can't apply old school thinking about liberty to the modern day, like, we're jacking our dicks to walls. It, it doesn't work. Yeah, uh, well, I will say this. I'm less educated on that whole immigration matter, so I, I just you, don't know exactly but what Aren't you from Texas? I am. You're a degree in law. I feel like you should have an opinion on this. Um, okay. You just don't want to give it. That's all right. No, it's not that I don't want to give it. It's that I have to be careful about the way that I get it because people get butt hurt. But I guess I can I can try and muster up the courage here. So again, I will say, for sake of people, um, you know, throwing a fit and writing for me to be fired and stuff like that. Look, and you know, 
you can listen to this podcast it's in it's total. We make money anyway. I like. <laughs> yeah, fire you, me. You, you can look at this podcast in the total and see that you know you can you can take things out of context or not. Um, I think that um, build the wall was a powerful um, tool to be used for a campaign trail from Donald Trump, right? Um, he he basically saw a way to uh, capitalize on something that was an issue that people cared about, and that's where Build the Wall came from. But it was an Mexico, issue they created, though. I, uh, that's, that's the issue that I have a problem with. Like, they well, created the issue. Well, Im well, border security is an issue, right? And it's been an issue ever since I was young. Like, they've, they've talked about it. They've just never... But illegal immigration was down. That's yeah. the thing. Yeah. But here's, here's the thing, too, right? So, the whole Mexico will pay for it thing, people should have spotted a mile away that it's bullshit because Mexico doesn't have a billion dollar to invest in their own infrastructure. Yeah, right? or they put a wall on their own southern border. Yeah. Um, so that, I do believe, was a little bit of a showmanship on Donald Trump's part. I think that... Um, I'll, I'll be completely honest with everybody. I've actually had nothing but good experience about people that have come over from, from Mexico. Right? You know what I like? Um, uh, is when I go to the grocery store, uh, produce... It's cool, like, when I go to the grocery store and I go to the produce section, I can actually buy the parsley that I need for my, uh, for my chimichurri. I, yeah. I, I, yeah, because when, uh, when they kicked all the illegals out of Alabama, literally, they were busing, they were paying to bus college kids out to the farms to pick shit, and they were quitting within, like, 15 minutes. Yeah. So all of the shit just rotted on the vine. I, like, I like... Parsley, I, I I find it to be very tasty. Uh, I I really like all of the uh, all of the herbs in the mint family. They're all very nutrient dense and they're delicious. I also enjoy the the scent of them. So and I, I while it while it is possible to grow my own parsley, I would rather have an illegal immigrant uh, grow it for me because uh, it it takes less time. Well, here here's the thing too. I am a true believer in this. And people can hate me or not for this, but there would be certain parts of this country that would completely and utterly fall apart without the without illegal immigrants being part of that ecosystem. For example, the agriculture uh, yep. uh, ecosystem that we have today would be completely destroyed it's not uh, right that people in agriculture pay uh, these immigrants or people that have come over from different countries lower wages on purpose to save money right that's not right but it is what it is and we've kind of become so reliant on it in this day and age that if we were to deport Every single illegal immigrant, I do think that within a couple of years, we would have a crisis on our hands. Oh, without question. And Martin Luther King Jr. actually said, uh, he had a quote, I, I'm not, I'm quoting it indirectly, but it was something along the lines of people who work for less than a living wage are actually doing a public service, and therefore, like, welfare or whatever you want to call it, any social services they receive, are actually just paying them for the work that they've done, whatever work it is. So these illegal immigrants who are getting free health care because they go to the emergency room when they cut their fucking hand off in a harvester uh, that people are screeching about, like, those people are actually, like, we're just paying them back for what they've been doing for a, a wage that they shouldn't be working for in the first place. And That's, uh, that's a logical way to think of it. It I, really is. I, I would also say that um, the one thing that people are worried about is, is when it comes to the illegal immigration uh, issue, is uh, a couple things. Uh, the people that come over, uh, 
they still seem to have this notion that everybody that comes over is either coming over from a war-torn place where uh, the ethics and the morality of those people are completely switched to have less of a Western ideal of living than um, they actually do. Because if you, if you have actually sat down and actually had a conversation with somebody that's come over here legally or illegally, they have much more of an appreciation for this country than we do because they can literally walk to the grocery store and not worry about things happening, right? So why, they also why don't would they jeopardize crime because that? they're terrified of running into a policeman. Right. Like why they, would they, they don't commit any crime. Yeah. So, but anyway, so we've made this whole thing very political. I know. Uh, maybe, I know. We, maybe we should move on to a lifting question. Okay, okay. Uh, there is one uh, thing that I will kind of close this out on. Um, I do believe that there is a need for border security, but I think that the I think that uh, everybody is rushing around to find out the right answer, that, which is one that we don't have yet. If that makes and sense. And quite frankly, why don't we just round up all of the white trash in the country that is like scamming the social welfare system? Why don't we round them up and actually make them work on the border? I like make them work for one day in their life. I think white trash, maybe they would benefit from that. I don't know, man. That's out of my jurisdiction. Uh, okay, no. so yeah, we, let's we must get... Ins- that actually is what got me my uh, my latest ban was suggesting that white trash be deported. Yeah. Um, but but I know people don't want to hear my political opinions, and they want to hear Jamie's. They might. I'm an... Oh, all right. No, they want to hear yours, man. I'm just a nobody. Um <laughs> So that can bring us into the, the next one that might be a little bit weird. So anyone as of recently to call out in the fitness industry or not? Um, you know, I don't – I can't think of anybody off the top of my head I haven't uh, – because at this point I don't give a fuck. Like I've worked for free for so long that I, that I, I just – I don't give a shit anymore. I'll call out Iron Rebel for like having stupid fucking – uh, advertisements, I, like I'll call everybody out at this point. So, and there's nobody I can think of off the top of my head. I gotta say, um, the whole, I, I just happened across it the other day. The Larry Wheels, um, uh, Half Thor, like team up. I think that's a cool one. I, I really don't like watching people lift, but I have to say, watching those two guys rep out 441 on the uh, on the incline was uh, that 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 made me feel a little bad badly about myself, but. It definitely got me fucking smashing weights on the incline the other day, because uh, I mean, you know, I I'm I'm still I'm I'm only moving two seventy five for reps, but uh, like the whole time I was like, well, goddamn, I I didn't even think it was possible to do four forty one for reps on. Have you seen that video? Uh, I have, but the one I did want to talk to you about. Uh, it's good that you brought this up. Is the one where he had little uh, blood shooting out of his self. Did I didn't you see, see that, that one. I did not see that one. So there's this video of Larry doing, uh, I believe, deadlifts, and there seems to be blood just pouring out of his chest, right? I have my own theories of why this is, but uh, what he says, and this is what he told other uh, media outlets, right? He said that, um, that he had pimples, that were on his chest, which, if you look at his chest, is probably pretty close to untrue. Um, he had pimples on his chest that when he went up, the blood vessels beneath them, or, or it made the pimple pop or something like that, right? Okay. And I... That's a very... Have you ever strange had... Strange explanation. I know, I mean, I, I know. I've had, I've had bad cysts, like from orals. Uh, right, like right, right. especially Innovar gives me like those cyst zits, right? And uh, I get them bad, but I've never had one burst without me putting a lot of effort into popping it. Right. Um. I I I do believe that maybe perhaps those were just the spots where he did a little bit of injections. Which, if he needs to explain it that way, who, fine. Uh, who, who pins their chest though? Like. 
Have you ever met a person who pins their chest? I've never in my life. I've never even heard of it. Well, that depends on how much they take. <laughs> yeah, I guess if you gotta, if you gotta if you gotta rotate your injection sites like these guys do, I imagine. Because I remember Paul Dillett saying that the reason why he stopped competing was because he was just sick of fucking pinning. Yeah, it was just there's non-stop. also a build up of scar tissue that happens after a while, right? Oh yeah, like, it sounds it sounds it sounds like I put a spoon in the garbage disposal when I when I pin my ass. It it really does. It like because I I refuse to pin my thighs because I can't walk. Like I get that swelling and then I I can't right. walk. So I just keep pinning my ass. I've been pinning my ass for ten years now, and uh, it's a mess. It really does sound like I put a spoon in the gar- garbage disposal when what I about- uh, when I when I pin. What about uh, you know Dave Palumbo? You know he had bad shoulders from lifting too heavy and and pushing and all that stuff. That's what he says, right? But like he also mentions that he had uh, a lot of scar tissue built up around his rotator cuff because when he pinned, he pinned too deep, right? So uh, what's like, he using two inch pins on his shoulders? I don't fucking know, man. I don't I don't know the guy personally, but I'd love to talk to him, but. Uh, if anybody wants to shout him out on the on the social medias and get him on here, that would be great. But um, he was he was a personal hero of mine, like back in the day. It was, was also cool that it was also cool that he was um, that he was a keto guy, uh, which no bodybuilders were back in the day. So that was uh, that was cool. Yeah. So um, yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, but I, I don't know but, if we have the cachet to get him, but that would be cool if we did. I think that he does stuff like that for fun, honestly, because it gets him advertising, you know, and all that stuff. But uh, we'll we'll get on to the next question real quick, and then we'll we'll jump on to a keto question because I think this one uh, is not covered at all, actually. So this one comes from somebody who's on Deca and Test. Okay, now mind okay. you, entertainment purposes only, not an educational uh, outlet. Uh, calm your tits. We're not telling you how to take stuff. Okay. Um. When you get injured, do you up the dose or do you stay at the same dosage? So I stay at the same dose. I, I'm really not a guy who relies on gear at all. I, I mostly just take it because it makes me feel good. I, I really don't. I've I, I was I was I had a question the other day where somebody was like, "How much weight am I supposed to gain on tests?" And I was like, "I, I honestly don't gain any weight, but I really don't gain any weight on orals either. I like even when I took Anadrol, I didn't like puff up." I mean, I kind of get a moon face, but but from holding water. But like, I don't, I don't gain a ton of weight. It's not, I don't know. I, I don't. I really, my gear usage isn't dependent on my situation. It's really just dependent on if I remember to pin and uh, and like how much gear I have on hand. That's it. That really is it. Right. Um, I will say this about uh, deca durbolin and testosterone, either enthanate, cypionate, or whatever whatever test. You know, I always call it durabolin. Is it durabolin? Uh, yeah, it's durabolin. Huh. Um, All right. Well, maybe so I we'll just say deca word. for short. Um, All right. So in the medical literature, right, um, it doesn't actually show, like I'm talking strains, sprains, tears, uh, broken, all that stuff. It doesn't show uh, anything but about a 10% difference in recovery time, which is significantly lower than other things that you would take. And I mean, there are certain stacks that you can take that if you're like a football player or something like that, you you know strain a muscle or whatever, you know, oh, I can't use my lat anymore. You know, all that stuff. Uh, You take this stuff and then you're ready to train the next day. There are stacks like that, but Test and Deca is not one of them. What Um, would be. People. Have you. Do you have any experience with T ball? Since that's in the news recently, I've never met a person who owned it. I've never had a gear dealer. I have a story, yes. I've never seen it in my life. And I I was was involved in a conversation with a bunch of idiots on the. on the face box the other day, where somebody was saying that all of the Anavar on the on the internet was uh, was actually T ball and that like because Anavar was too expensive and I was like, you have literally no idea what you're saying. Anavar is the easiest thing on earth to get. Like, literally every person I know who uses gear has Anavar in their house right now. I mean, 
I've got it. I've got at least 150 of them, and I don't even use the shit. Uh, well, like, it's also easy to synthesize. Um, yeah, like but chemically, uh, so but there's no reason. I, I've never in my life seen it. Never once. Okay, so T ball is okay for it education for non. It's what John Jones. John Jones yeah. keeps popping positive for. If people want to know why it's in the zeitgeist, uh, this is for you know non educational purposes. Uh, blah blah blah. It's yeah. for non educational purposes now. Yes. Um, so T ball. Entertainment purposes is that what we're going? Entertainment for? purposes only. Yes. All right. Um. So. T-Ball in and of itself is one of the things that got popular because I believe it was either the Russians or the Germans that were using it in order to get a leg up on us in the Olympics, right? Uh, when? Ever since then. In the 50s? Yeah. Mm, 60s, maybe. All right. Anyway, um, so T-Ball was fantastic, everything, whatever. The main characteristics of T-Ball is that it's dry... Um, so you're not going to experience any bloat. Um, it is a relatively uh, weaker. It is relatively less liver toxic than anadrol and Dbol, right? So you can run it for longer lengths of time, so six to eight weeks. Um, it also happens to be something that just builds strength. Like it, it really does just build without strength. without any without any waking. Um, Why fighters use it, right? Without much. See, fighters are very creative with their diet, so that whole without weight gain bullshit that they try and feed you is bullshit. Uh, they actually use their nutrition in order to mo to modulate their weight instead of drugs. So, oh wait, so you're saying that uh, you're saying that guys like uh, Conor McGregor, you know, adult males who uh, weigh, only weigh 150 pounds. You're saying that they don't eat much. Is that what you're saying? I'm saying that uh, Conor McGregor's on that rabbit diet. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's funny how that works. Everybody who <laughs> says they can't gain weight, it's just because they don't eat. Like, I had a pound of bacon today for breakfast, and I wasn't even trying to eat much. I, I just happened to have a pound of bacon on hand, and I was like, I'm hungry. And so I ate it. Also, and, let's be frank. Let's be frank here, too, right? Like, you have, like, a, you know, a steak, right? And then you have, like, protein shakes for the rest of the day. You're going to have your fat needs met. You're going to have your protein needs met. And you will you will be basically perpetually skinny because, like, you're, you're taking no energy. Like, no excess energy. And that's how these fighters do it, right? They just over-exercise. They under-eat. And then they make weight. And then they gorge themselves and then they have extra weight when they come into the octagon. Like, that's, it's not rocket science. People make it out to be some spectacular science fuckery, and it's not. No. But I digress. So, T-Ball is one of those things where... I keep seeing these news stories about how Jenna Jameson lost weight on the keto diet, and it's like, the bitch has an eating disorder. Like, it's not on the keto diet, she just doesn't eat. Yeah, but she's, she's like, already. I, I eat. I eat for three hours a day, or something like that, because uh, she's on like intermittent fasting keto or some nonsense. It's like you eat like a, a salad that wouldn't feed my cat, like, and that's all you eat. Uh, but it's not a mystery how you lost weight. You just have an eating disorder. Now I forget his name, but there was this guy who was in Tar the new Tarzan live action reboot thing that happened. Uh, he got shredded, right? And this dude is a workhorse. You listen to every interview that he's ever had, and he literally, what he had to do to get himself that shredded and lean, right, for him personally, was have a big portion of protein, have a salad with it, and then do that six times a day, and literally, like fucking magic, he became Tarzan lean, like... People, I didn't even know there was a new Tarzan movie. Yeah, yeah. You can go ahead and look him up. He's he's incredibly jacked, but he also had size on him before, and you know when he dieted down, it looked good. So, I think the first I, no, like <laughs> I, I I intend to write about him. His name is Frank Merrill. I, I believe he was the first uh, Tarzan in in the movies. And uh, oh yeah, he had sixteen and a half inch arms. He was a gymnast who ended up having like a world record in pull ups. 
and was all he did was fucking pull-ups. It was just a maniac with pull-ups. <laughs> and uh, he was shredded as fuck, but he, he had big arms for, like, I think he weighed, like, 158 pounds and had 16 and a half inch arms, which is fucking impressive. To be fair, all Tarzan would do is pull-ups, too, because he's always swinging from the vines and, you know. Exactly. Like, you know, maybe maybe do some rope stuff. You know, have one of those goofy ropes hung up somewhere. Like, but, um, yeah. The cat so, is high on catnip again. Do you know cats get high off catnip? I didn't know that prior to owning a cat. Yes. Yes, they do. Like, we're talking high as shit. Like, she'll you, walk into walls and stuff. It's fucking hilarious. You can also get that catnip that's an upper, too, so. Oh, no, it, it is. It, it's an upper. She's yeah. running around, and then she'll just, like, randomly smack into a wall. It's pretty funny. Get wrecked. Yep. Um, but back to T-Ball. So T-Ball is one of those things where it's like a good little oral thing that you can use. The problem is, is how most people got uh, introduced to it was from the old uh, H or Halo Drawl product. That used oh, to be, really? Yeah. Halo Halo had T-Ball in it? Uh, Halo had a methylated form of T-Ball. This is back in the old pro-hormone days. Yeah. So, yeah, that was that was Terinobol. That was the... I could not come up with it. I was trying to remember the, uh, the shit... The gear that made everybody, like, purpley gray the other day. Could not remember the name. It's Halo. Oh, yeah, it was Halo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's because the blood pressure <laughs> increases... <laughs> yeah, she. Uh, oh. So, so uh, Mel was. She was sick the other day. We both had that stomach flu last week. Yeah, yeah. And she was on the treadmill, and her cheeks were like bright red, and then her her the rest of her matched her leggings, which were that purpley gray. And I was trying to come up with the name of the of Halo, and I could not. But now I have it. So, huzzah! Yeah. A week later, as huzzah. as is always the case. Yeah, it was a uh, Halo draw, and then. Up Epistain used to also get people fucking beat red. Um, so, yeah, Turinabal was one of those things where they would take it for six to eight weeks. Their numbers would jump up 45 to, like, 100 pounds. And then they would be huzzah, and then, then they would stop taking the stuff, and then they would go back down to their original numbers. Because just like with cheek drops or um, uh, D-ball, it's very temporary, you know? So... Halo leaned um, you out, though, didn't it? Did, does T-Ball have that effect? Um, T-Ball, one of the things that people liked about it is it made you vascular like Winstrol. You remember how vascular people got on Win Winnie back in the day? No, I, I have a bunch of it in the house. I'm going to have to test that out. I am just a fatty, fat, fat, McFat, fat recently. <laughs> Although not as fat as you, i got to say. You have definitely... Uh, you were a portly gentleman recently. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually down to 260 now. So. Yeah? How much is cool your man. face weigh? Uh, <laughs> 73 pounds. So that that's what I have <laughs> to say about that was That wasn't nice. That, that wasn't nice of me. It, it's okay. Um, but that's what I have to say about T-Balls. It was one of those things that was used for a little bit. People kind of fell out of love with it because of the popularity of things like Super Droll and um, DMZ and these other things that seem to produce more exaggerated results. And but of I, course, I more harsh wonder side with all these like gray market sups that are on the that are on the uh, on the market now, uh, like yeah. uh, uh, Max, for instance, is constantly sending me pictures of these supplements, and I'm like, how the fuck is that legal? Like. Wayne's house gets raided at any time that we even say, like, amp citrate. Like, it, all right, right now they're gonna raid his house right now because of that. But like, well, uh, we these we are currently DMAA and their fucking sup, uh, sups and ephedra and all kinds of shit. I don't know how the fuck they're getting away with it. Actually, let me go ahead and actually, that's a great point of discussion. So, um. Okay, let me explain it a little bit, and then we'll kind of go over what's happening right now in the world of subs. Because if you are unaware, there's a bunch of people getting smacked up for trafficking. Because that's yeah, how like they get black you. market labs, everybody's in jail, or they're Black's, going to Blackstone, jail. Blackstone, yeah. Blackstone, yeah. Uh, yeah, black PJ's, market. No, black market. They they used to have good supplements, and now they don't. Yeah. Um, so we that uh, adrenaline we back in the day though was the shit. Back in like the days when like Hyde was Hyde and not Mister Hyde, 
adrenaline was so fucking bomb. You remember Hyde back in the day. Didn't it feel like it had something a little bit more than DMAA in it? Just as a feeling. Like, it was pretty good. Yeah, that shit had you... But it was exactly yeah. like adrenaline. That shit had you shot out of a fucking cannon. It was along actually, the line, but it was almost as good as... Um, almost as good as Ultimate Orange. I actually got to try the illegal craze back in the day. I bought, like, okay. three fucking tubs of it afterwards. That stuff had you going off the chain, off the chain, fucking wacky, right? Now, come to find out, there was, like, a, you know... Uh, basically a, a research grade uh, stimulant in there, but um, hey, tomato, tomato. But he, uh, yeah, I there was so many supplements like that back in the day. But uh, long story short, when it comes to this, so we are currently DSHA compliant. We are the you know we abide by all the laws, everything like that. But other companies see quick cash grabs and they come out with stuff like DMZ, which is you know currently. Uh, not controlled, but what happens is, is you have government. DMZ is not controlled right now. It's not. It's not scheduled. So it, they have. Does not fall under the. Uh, I thought they were hitting everybody with the recos uh, on uh, anything that was steroid like. Uh, what they do is they trap you up in some bullshit. So let's just say they will find a way, like the FDA will actually, and this is why we had to change some of our products, is the FDA will find a way yeah. to smack them butt cheeks. Yeah. Yeah. And they're not they're not gonna they're not gonna come in wet. They're gonna come in dry. Like they're People gonna keep sit asking there. me, they're like, why don't you do this and why don't you do that? And it's like, because I've been to jail and I don't like it. I like if I don't yeah. know what you want out of me. Because reasons. And people who are not in the supplement industry don't really get this, right? Because they think that supplement companies can do whatever yeah. the fuck they want because of people I'm not like. I'm going to jail for you fuckers. People like Boss Sport Nutrition back in the day, whenever they used to sell, because Boston Lloyd was a genius and he sold DMZ in his pre workout. Now, I was up at the very fucking minute that his social media guy started to go, okay, well, this will get us locked up. I'm going to just delete this off our Facebook. It was like 3 o'clock in the fucking morning, right? And uh, he completely, 100%, just irrevocably scrubbed his Facebook of any mentions of anything that he used to sell, right? Didn't he say he's natty now? <sighs> yeah, but like, that's like saying, I, ha I have a vehicle I've been driving for years, but I'm going to choose to walk everywhere. Like, it doesn't fucking matter. No one cares. Um, yeah, or a chick yeah. who's got fake tits and, like, has been using that fucking blurry face filter on Instagram for years is like, oh, I'm not going to wear makeup now. And it's like, but every single one of your social media, like, pictures is you in makeup. So, like, nobody knows what you look like. Or she looks like a hag and you say, go back, go back, go back. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> um, but, yeah, supplement industry is just, you know... the. And that's another thing too. Uh, whatever is on the label is not always what is on the label. So I know I know some people that do private testing. I can't name names, but uh, there's quite a few people out there that do not meet label claims because it's not even the product that they have on the fucking label. Because they're afraid that if they're ever tested, right, randomly, that uh, they'll pop for something that's on the label that is they're not allowed to sell. So they just put something else in it because they're pieces of shit. That's my rant for the fucking day. That was quite um, a rant. Yeah, well, it fucking pisses me off because it just it's bad for it's bad for the supplement industry in a whole because these people want to fucking do this shit and then we as chaos and pain get punished because or we look like pussies who won't put yeah. like the good shit in our supplements and it's like I, we're literally doing all we can. To put the strongest shit we can in the supplements. Yeah. I don't want my name on something that sucks. And guess what? Everybody loves fucking Hypnos, but if you order too much of that in Canada, you're fucked. <laughs> so. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, that it won't go through customs. Like, we've Meanwhile, had customers, DMAA is legal in, in Canada. We've had customers buy like 20 bottles of Hypnos, right? Why would just you buy 20 go. bottles of Hypnos? I just never want to wake up again. Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, because it takes like six weeks to get there. What? To get to customs. Canada? Because customs. What's yeah, sometimes. Dude, I can literally strap hypnos to my cat and get it there faster. <laughs> Just have some catnip. Um, yeah. But anyway, we'll, we'll go on to another question. I'm getting kind of ranty. But, I gotta um, say, cats are fucking weird. Uh, they like, are. I, you've never owned a cat, have you? I have two. Oh, do you? They're just yeah. not dogs, which is the bizarre thing. Even like when you pet them, like you know, a dog is real solid. Even if it's like a, even if it's a pug or a like just some something little, like it's a five pound dog. Like but it's still solid. Like you can pat it and like, but cats are just like furry goo. It's weird. <laughs> they just ooze everywhere. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not only that, but like they're they they act like cats a lot of the time too. And their only fucking instinct that they have is clicking their tongue every time they see something weird outside. It's the only drop of instincts our cats have. You know? You mean that's the only instinct they have? They would not last outside at all. Like they would be dead. They don't know how to hunt. They're so fucking spoiled. Their food's brought to them. They get feeding times. So, fucking... and like, because I'm a dog person, I like I treat the cat like a dog, and uh, and so I, like my cat's spoiled as shit to the point where she actually won't eat unless I pick her up and put her by her food because we we put her food on her stairs to make it like uh, I don't know you're supposed to move cats' food around like it's good for their brains. And so, uh, but now I have to pick her up and put her on the stairs by her food, or she'll just stand there and look at me and like rub up against me and like make her growly noise. It's yeah. it's fucking. She spoiled the shit. So <laughs> I agree with you. Although cats, uh, like Australia, for instance, has a real problem with feral cats to the point where you get ten bucks a tail in in uh, northeastern Australia. Ten bucks a tail to kill a cat. All right. Their cats uh, weigh like forty pounds. They're feral cats. It's crazy. They'll they'll um, they'll open up their stomachs after they kill them and find like fifty different species of animal inside them because they're just apex predators like a motherfucker. So I don't think my cat would do well because she won't even leave the like she won't leave the front steps. We go outside yeah. and we just sit on the steps and like look at the birds and shit. But she won't leave my side if we're outside. So uh, yeah, I, uh, she wouldn't do well, but. Cats in general, they're just murder machines. Uh, and, you know, now that we've pissed off PETA, I'm going to add them in the tags of this video. <laughs> so Why would we have pissed off PETA on that? Well, I mean, we, we said something to piss them off earlier. And now we're bringing up uh, by-the-tail cat hunting. So I'm not, to... suggesting, I'm not suggesting you kill cats. I just, uh, they are a problem in Australia. But they're like a, a real problem. There's more, there's, more, there's more feral cats in Australia than there are people, I think. Yeah. So, um, this one, this next question, I'll move on here. Um, will there be a Plague of Strength podcast? Jamie and Bryce on more t controversial topics, maybe. Uh, I hadn't planned on one. I'd, I don't know. You have to talk me into every, every podcast I come on in the first place. So, <laughs> I, uh, I, I, I don't. I don't plan on one. You're the one with all the uh, podcasting software. And uh, so that would really be you pestering me about it rather than me doing one. It, if it's something you guys want, let us know in the comment section below. So if that's something maybe we can get pestered about and we can bring on more controversial uh, guests too. If you people know. do want a good podcast, because I'm a huge last podcast. That's the only reason why I do this podcast in the first place is because of last podcast. Because I just thought they were fucking stupid in the first place. But uh, on the last podcast network, there's one called Wizard and the Bruiser, which is a super nerd podcast. about um, It's about video games and pro wrestling and just general nerdery. It's a good time. I think yeah. you would enjoy it because I think they even talk about your stupid weeaboo shit occasionally. Hell yeah. Um, okay. So you can wear your cat ears and, I don't know, have a limp penis. Whatever weeaboos do, you guys wear cat ears and have limp penises. What else do you do as a eat weeaboo? Eat bananas. Why would you eat a banana? See? See, guys? Anti-banana. Strong stance. Oh, I'm very anti-banana. <laughs> I, I fucking hate bananas. I don't like the smell of them. I don't like the taste of them. They're fucking pointless. Okay. Uh, this one... 
Uh, this one's a keto do, do question. Do bananas eat bananas? And if so, why? Because notice thing? me, senpai. I, I don't know what you're saying. I, I feel so old right now. <laughs> I just want to shoot the, you with rock salt. The really hardcore memers will get it in the comment section. So if you get it, please uh, interact what did you, with us. What did you say to me? So I can Google it later? Uh, notice me, senpai. Notice me, senpai. All right. Uh, how do you adjust from a zero carb diet to a moderate carb one? Also, thoughts on carb cycling. Is that a real question? Um, yes, yes. You're not just saying that to annoy me. Nope. How do you adjust? You eat? How do you? What does that even mean? How do you adjust? Listen, listen. People need their hand held. I, I don't even understand the question. All right. So, so they want so you, you to go to the store, and then <laughs> there's a section called the bakery, and you go there and you buy like a bagel, and then you put butter on it and you eat it. Yeah. I uh, I I don't know what he meant by the question, but I'm guessing he's been on a zero carb diet for a long time. I um, was on a zero carb diet for fucking ten years. Some people, some people have a little bit of digestional uh, distress uh, whenever they add back carbs in, or they have that dreaded, you know, crash then don't of eat having them. a lot of sugar, and then like, don't pick sugary foods first of all, right? Don't um, eat call if you don't digest them well. Don't eat them. What is? I uh, uh, this one's going to blow your mind because I because I, I, now I'm starting to get annoyed. Okay, how much body fat can you lose per week? How how long is a piece of string? <laughs> Next question. Nice question. Um, Christ, these are stupid fucking questions. This one is a little bit interesting. So and there's no such uh, thing as a stupid question. Just stupid people. Jamie, which, did you see the Titan Games? And what did you think? Something oh, you would do? Oh boy, the Titan Games. I was I have so the first time I saw the commercial for the Titan Games, I was in jail. I, I almost shit my pants. I was so excited. I, I was just like, oh my god, this is going to be the greatest thing ever. Then I found out that, that, that The Rock had the idea for the Titan games while drunk. So he pitched this fucking game. It was a drunk idea. And so I was like, this is genius. Then I watched it. And uh, and then my world crumbled. Because yeah. uh, somehow The Rock attached his name to something that is just... It's intolerable to watch. I mean, it, it's a cool idea. It's a great idea. I don't need a fucking sob story. I, I just, I don't want to hear them. I don't care. And that one broad had like 14 sob stories. And none of them matched up. Like if you Google her, that like thick blonde haired broad. If you Google yeah. that broad, like her sob story is different in every article that's about her. So like on the show, she like... Her parents were mean to her, and her dog died, and she had anorexia, and, like, all this other shit. And it's like, I don't give a fuck about any of that. And she ended up winning, I think. And But she doesn't even look like she does in, it, like, IRL. She's, like, some broad who wears a ton of makeup and, like, is super skinny and, I guess, competes in, like, figure or something like that. Yeah. So I don't know if she got thick just to, like act like an ass on this show or what. But in any event, uh, the whole thing's fucking nonsense. And and they make it out like they're regular people. They're all like superstars on the gram. Yeah. They're just... Everybody on the show sucks. Uh, there was one guy except who was cool. For, he, except for Anthony. Uh, I don't know who Anthony is, but there's one guy on the show who's cool. He's, um, he's a strong man, and uh, he like... He was dancing on the show, and he was just being a goof. Like right. he had no sob story. He was cool. Um, he That's ended up one losing of our ambassadors. Could... His name is Anthony. Oh, is he really one of our yeah. ambassadors? Yeah, oh, yeah. All I'm right. have him on. Yeah, I, I mean, I have him on too. So uh, I, I've got a buddy, Jay Ashman, who's friends with him, and uh, and like he was apparently saying like he was proud of the fact that he didn't have a sob story, and I loved that about him. And uh, he was the only person on that show I didn't want to stab. So. I, I love the idea, and uh, I just wish it was what it was billed to be. Yeah. 
Um, so this next question here, because I think you covered that. I uh, I didn't watch it, so I can't really comment. Um, uh, the idea of the show is great, and like even the competitions they do are cool. But um, and like Anthony, he he just like cardio killed him. He actually he was defeated by climbing walls. He <laughs> he just couldn't he could not <laughs> climb walls. He was so fucking tired by the end. Walls beat him. Yeah. But uh, um, yeah, it, it, that was pretty amusing because I could definitely I could empathize with that. Okay, we have two quick questions, and then we'll we'll shut this down. All shut right. it down. Put down the cookie. Um. <laughs> oh, dude! Uh, like for this um, for the Eagles game, the a uh, couple of weeks ago, we got two of those giant cookies, those cookie cakes. Oh yeah. And uh, oh my god, those were fun to eat. I, like I never had a cookie cake growing up. Like, just I, we never had one in the house, and uh, so I've only had one a couple couple of times in my life and they are phenomenal well, that's awesome man um, yeah that also lets everybody know that you're not carb phobic which is a misconception we get all the time so now, i i used to i mean for 10 years i didn't i was uh carb cycling and really didn't eat carbs but now i, I just don't give a fuck so uh bryce and whoever else is hosting this was actually asked um uh, a while ago how would one combat Erectile dysfunction, gear, and stim induced. Take Viagra. Uh, alleged, you know, uh, hypothetically, you could do that. Um, I will also say that, um, you know, is it is it ED with yourself or is it ED with a lady friend? You know, because those are important distinctions. Um, if it if it's ED with a lady friend. Uh, and you if have it's easy with yourself, who cares? Just jerk it. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's not. A, it's not that big a deal. I, I've I've really never had like a a big ED problem, and I'm not saying I'm like some superstar of sex, but I'm, it, it, like the stim induced ED, like it used to be this thing that like uh, I I really used to enjoy hearing the girls the day after Raw Unity, like bitching about how they didn't get laid the night before, and uh, yeah, I, like. I didn't have that problem because I don't take that much gear, so I've never had a problem with, uh, like, my dick is pretty much always hard, even at 43. Like, it's just, it's stupid. And Even, uh, even it, right now, yes. Yeah, I, just rock hard. I'm typing <laughs> with my dick. But, I, like, but I, I've just never really had an ED problem. But, like, when I wanted a sport fuck, because I, I do have a problem with, uh, like, I'll freely admit, I, I have performance anxiety sometimes. And, um... I use Rhino. Uh, like, that shit gives your... You have hard-ons that are actually unpleasant on that. Uh, yeah. it, and you can get it on Amazon. I, I'm sure that they put Cialis and Viagra in it. We're talking about, like, uncontrollable hard-ons for three days. To the point where it's an actual inconvenience. But um, but it works. And they keep changing the name of it. and Like, it's Rhino 500, it's Rhino 5, it's Rhino 3, it's Rhino whatever, but... Like it's it's all the same shit. Just okay. Rhino. It's on it's on uh, it's on Amazon. It works. Or I, just I go to your to go to your local uh, porn shop and buy whatever boner pills they have on hand. Uh, like those porn shop boner pills work for a reason. Like they sell them because they work. Yeah. So uh, I will also say that um, usually, right? Because sometimes with gear induced, um, it can be the over reliance of aromatized inhibitors, right? AIs, aromatase inhibitors. Yeah, that's exactly. always been your thing. It's too too much uh, ADEX. Like, you've, you've talked about that a number of times. I, I don't use aromatase inhibitor. I never have. I don't PCT, so stop asking me. Uh, and I get questions daily about PCT. I know nothing about PCT. I've never done it. Will never do it. Don't give a fuck about it. When I crash, I crash. You know, the, uh, the you get only down, you get back up again. They the only advice, keep you down. the only advice you should take on PCT is that what's in the uh, medical literature. And really, there's not much to it. It's just the uh, thing that they use to boost to have your numbers come back to normal. And that's just like people. They're going to come back to normal on one way or the other. I know, Unless but you've these, been castrated. And even are, then, you still produce testosterone. These are for people like who are like super obese, 
for some reason, they don't produce enough testosterone because, you know, obesity is the anti-testosterone plague that is sweeping young men of our generation. Um, but um, sometimes they'll put them on something like clomiphen, which will, of course, uh, increase uh, certain signals that will tell your body, hey, I need more testosterone, and that's how that pretty much works. But long story short... Um, aromatase inhibitors, use them as needed, not as pieces of Skittles that you just down every single day because you just don't want bitch tits. Well, guess what? You don't want the possibility of bitch tits, don't take gear. Stop being a pussy. And if you uh, do have bitch tits, Epi, take care Epi of it. Was a, uh, Epi's basically just an aromatase inhibitor, right? It's not, a, uh, it's not an actual steroid. Uh, that's my understanding. Epi? Are you talking about Epistain? What other epi would I be talking about? Is there another? Oh, well, I'm not talking about like uh, whatever that shit that Lance Armstrong took was turned your blood into gravy. That's EPO. Um, oh. Yeah, no. And um, so there has been this issue with people using uh, gear to combat gear related side effects for a while. And long story short, uh, if you are one of those guys that are prone to gyno, which I am not, Jamie, I'm guessing is not, you don't have to lick a bit, do you? No, no, I never, never had that problem. Okay. Uh, sometimes yeah, it's just the luck of the draw. It's, it's, it's that easy. Don't be fat. And I mean, right now I'm fat for me, uh, which is uh, not, not all that fat. Much, much but, skinnier uh, than I am, yes. Yeah, uh, but it's uh, just not being fat is how you don't get gyno. Yeah. Like... It's it's really not that difficult. I, I I mean unless unless I'm misunderstanding something about science. Like there is one one issue that I see, and back when gyno was running rampant, right, you had people taking testosterone, bold, and D ball all at the same time, and you would have this just incredibly heavy rush of E two just fucking skyrocket. Right, I never, because I never got a gyno three. Got a whole, never once, I never got anything out of EQ either. Like I don't understand the point of the, either of those things. They yeah. don't do shit, in my in my experience. Well, also something unique about uh, uh, the different steroids that are out there is people will react differently to them on an individual to individual basis. Yeah, like yeah. for example, I, I mean, you know those guys that can take like a thousand milligrams of Deca. Right, like those guys that are just deca fiends. Uh, a lot of people can't do that. You know those well, people I, uh, that are. You know, on... I, I hear about guys taking fucking two grams of fucking tren a day or a, a week. I, I... And then, and then there's what? somebody that was on the podcast before uh, who took, you know, a little bit. Uh, I'm unsure. Fuck it. He talks about it all the time. You know, Desi. Yeah. He had his uh, levels tested, like he had the blood results in his hand, and he said, look, and he's only taken like 200 megs of test, uh -huh. and he has like a 2,000, a level 2,000. A little 2,000 like what? 2,000 total test. Okay, usually it's like 700 or something. Uh, for, th well, with 200, it would probably be somewhere in the 1,000 range, you know? He just happens to have really good, like, his androgen receptors or something has to be fucking, or else his gear is overdosed. But there are some people that, that are super responders to this stuff, right? And uh, sometimes, um, you know, there are people that are super responders to the side effects. You know, if you hit every side effect in the book on something like caffeine, uh, expect the same to be from uh, gear, right? Whereas, it's hilarious when people tell me, like, they get that you know they drink a bang and they practically have a heart attack and it's like, I drink a bang and go to sleep, <laughs> I, like it, it just it doesn't have an effect. Of, but gear also doesn't. So kind of along the lines of what you're saying, like gear just does not have a market effect on me. Yeah, I take it. Yeah, I mean it makes life easier. But basically, I just take gear because I enjoy gear. I it's not, I don't get any kind of market effect out of it. Right. It just allows me to be lazy. And uh, I think that kind of follow that kind of just wraps it up in a neat little bow, if I can get this outro right. So, um, one last question, and I'm gonna let Jamie answer this one 
uh, because you had mentioned bringing on other guests with you that you had in mind in a previous podcast, and somebody was wondering if we can still set that up. So Jay's wanting to come on, right? Jay Ashman? Yeah, yeah, Jay's definitely down to come on. Okay, we need to schedule with him, and then He's who else the one who's friends with, with uh, the guy from the Titan Games, actually. Right, Anthony. Uh, yeah. What, what? Who else do you want to schedule with? I know we're going to have Peter Baker back on, right? Yeah, Pete. Good time. Um. So you got anybody else that you want to throw in there? Um. I think Kara Brennan would be down to do it. Uh, she's cool as shit. She's a strong woman. Uh. She she has her own like web series TV show that has uh awesome. like she's like a demon hunter on it. Um. That she's super good looking too, which doesn't hurt. Ooh. And um, yeah, so I know she wants to come on. Uh, okay. Yeah, people could just give us uh, suggestions too. Like yeah. uh, you know, I am the people's champion for a reason. So worst, uh, yeah, just, worst just that could tell- happen, worst that could happen is we could reach out to somebody and then they leave us on red and then they make me cry. That's about it. So um, go hey, ahead and that's give where us those anti estrogens come in. I know. Uh, hey, by the I'm way, just comforted where do you by get, the do, like, do you know where to get Halo these days? Like, can you buy it as a pro hormone now, or because uh, that was the easiest way to get lean back in the you day? You cannot buy it as a pro hormone, but we can discuss that a bit later. Okay. Yeah. Um, a bit later, as in not on the podcast. I uh, I figure people a bit later, probably... as in not on the podcast. Yes. Okay. All right. So, well, uh, educational. Then, Educational. Hey, hey guys, no. I tried no. to find out where to get Halo for you, but I failed. Yes. Uh, so if you like this video, go ahead and like this video. If you want to subscribe to this video, you feel free to do so. Don't forget to hit that bell button to get notified every time a new video such as this comes out. If you have any questions for us, leave them in the comment section below. And I know, guys, we, we talked a little bit about politics in this episode. We're not going to make that too much of a recurring thing. But if you would like to hear more of that or if you would like to hear less of it, really any feedback, um, you know, if, if you don't give me feedback, they will beat me. Um, they will fire me and uh, they will oh, yeah. force me to be an incel. I, so, I guess we'll pay you even less than we already pay you, which I guess you'd have to pay us at that point. Yeah, I'll have to pay them. Um, they'll Somebody would have to pay jaw. me to pay you, though. So I guess... Well, We don't really care. We'll do what we want. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway, guys, we will see you in the next one. And, yes, I did snap my fingers, and I regret it because I did give the finger guns. I am lame. Did you actually give the finger guns to a radio podcast? Yes. Wow. All right. A, I'm just up in my beige game. There you go. All right. Basic. Conan, what is best in life? Crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and hear the lamentation of the women. That is good. That is good. Too many thoughts on my mind, I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. I don't need no help, I don't need opinions, so don't waste my time then. I just been living online, my city don't show me no love and that's fine. Fuck local radio stations, I got more plays than all of these rabbits combined. I'm going, I'm going again, I've been going in, I'm fed up with so many things. I gotta just let it all out, I'm talking about the shit they've been talking about. Telling me I should do this, telling me I should do that. Telling me, telling me things about rap. Talking the truth and that stab in my back, they will knock me off track. No, no, too many things have been building, been hard to deal with, I just been drinking. Remember my moves in the past, I'm wondering what was I thinking Lately I'm living in fear, wondering what if the end is so near All of this shit going on, the shootings are strong One shot to the head and I'm gone, I'm losing control but I can't let it go Cause I'm trying to get more and I've been in the moment I've been in the zone and I'm moving alone I don't pick up the phone when my family call, I've been doing it wrong And I don't know what's happening, trying to get what I've just been imagining Getting close and I've just been examining all of the fake shit the game has been packaging My lord pleases you, Kron, so grant me one request Grant me revenge. And if you do not listen, then the hell with you. 
from a town where most of the people are so close minded They go into school and they work in a job but they don't even like it I won't be put in a box, nobody telling me what I should rock Nobody telling me what I should drop cause I do what I want and just know I don't stop Recording till 4 in the morning, they snoring, I'm pouring my soul into every story I'm writing, producing, I mix it, I master, I'm building my craft and I'm not looking back I've been going doing things I wanna do when I want to Everybody wanna get away but they not do Everybody wanna copy you but they not you Everybody wanna be cool but they not new Whoa, look how I go, gonna be a dentist, I still got the flow Never gonna lose cause I'm still doing both Never gonna lose cause I've been on the road Come to your state and I'm killing the show Know that I'm young and I still gotta grow Know that I'm working the most No, I'm never gonna choke And I'm looking back down on the people below I've been keeping real I've been doing what I feel I've been out here trying to kill Every beat I know I will